You're listening to Addressing Gettysburg. The Cavalry Buys Time. Located on Buford Avenue. And now we have a quote from Brigadier General John Buford, Cavalry Corps, 1st Division. The 1st Brigade maintained this unequal contest until the leading division of General Reynolds' Corps came up to its assistance, and then, most reluctantly, did it give up the front. Cavalry soldiers traditionally fought on horseback, but by 1863 they were also fighting on foot. Although the infantryman's rifle musket was more deadly at long range than the cavalryman's carbine, dismounted cavalry could effectively harass and delay foot soldiers. Along this ridge, the Union Cavalry of Brigadier General John Buford's division held off the attacking Confederate infantry of Brigadier General Joseph R. Davis on the morning of July 1st. When the pressure became too great, the troopers fell back to the ridge in front of you. General Buford's cavalry slowed the attacking Confederates for two critical hours, time enough for the Union infantry to arrive on the battlefield. And there's a painting of John Buford, and it says, Brigadier General John Buford and his Union cavalry take a stand on the ridge against Confederate infantry attacking from the west. Every fourth trooper held horses behind the line. Painting is by Dale Gallen. And there is a photograph of the 3rd Indiana Cavalry, not the whole regiment, but uh, troopers from them, and some of the men uh, fought here. And uh, there's a little piece of information about cavalry casualties on there that you'll just have to see when you come and visit us in Gettysburg. (laughs) 